The gaming world would be nowhere without women. Women like Mabel Addis, Donna Bailey, and Roberta Williams, who are only three out of the many women who have made significant contributions to gaming. This Women's History Month, let's acknowledge the women who came before us and the women in gaming right now. I'm Blue Ander, a cozy content creator here on YouTube, and here are 10 cozy games set to release this year made by women and other gender marginalized developers. Let's get into it! First up is Cats Love Boxes. Cats Love Boxes is a puzzle adventure game where you help two cats move around and have fun with boxes. The colors and animations make this the cutest puzzle game. And to make this game even cuter, as you progress the game, you will unlock outfits for your cats. This game can be played solo or with a friend and has over 60 levels to solve. Cats Love Boxes was released on February 28th of this year by DevCats and is available on PC and Linux and has Xbox controller support. Next is Botany Manor, a first person puzzle game where you are botanist Arabella Green, researching the growth of rare plants. Tell me a game has plants in it and I'm gonna play it. <laughs> You must explore the manor, finding tools and resources to create the best conditions for growing plants. As you explore the manor, you will also uncover the story of Arabella, as a woman navigating a career in science. This game promises puzzles, plants, and emotional story, all set in a peaceful environment of a Victorian manor. Botany Manor, developed by Balloon Studios, is expected to release on the 9th of April, which is very very soon, on Steam for PC and Steam Deck, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Xbox Game Pass, and Nintendo Switch. Next up is Critter Crops, a magical farming adventure RPG. In this game, you travel to a faraway island after receiving a mysterious letter stating that you have been given a mansion. Upon arrival, you realize that the island is abandoned and the only items you have are farming tools and a key to the mansion. Together with the cute animals known as critter crops, explore, cultivate, and restore the island as you try to figure out who invited you there in the first place. This adorably spooky game has so much to do, from growing critter crops, gathering resources, crafting, casting spells, building, and growing friendships with potential residents who come to the island. Critter Crops, developed by Skyreach Studio, is set to be released for PC on April 10th and is coming to Switch later on. This next game is a peaceful, hand-drawn garden simulator. In Pocket Oasis, you design your own garden on a balcony with over 30 plants to choose from and a variety of decoration options and pets to make your balcony your own. You also have the option of gardening in different cities around the globe. And with every city, there's a variation of weather based on real world data. Pocket Oasis promises to be a perfect, stress-free, peaceful game for the spring. This game is developed by Kitten Pearl Game Studio and is set to be released on May 8th on PC and Nintendo Switch. This next game is Bug and Seek, which was already released on Steam in December. But, exciting news, it's coming to Switch this spring. Bug and Seek, developed by So Peculiar, is a creature collector game where you are the owner of an insectarium. You must catch bugs, upgrade your equipment, and decorate and customize your bug museum to your liking, and name any bugs you put on display. There are over 175 bugs that you can find and different biomes that you can find them. Also, you can take on quests from the locals in the town and put together pieces to solve a mystery about the great bug heist. With no energy restrictions and with no time restrictions, Bug and Seek is a fun, cozy creature collector game to pick up on Switch this spring. And on PC if you haven't yet. Hi, this is a reminder that if there's any game that interests you and you want to purchase it later, to wishlist this game because wishlisting helps support the devs okay bye <laughs> next is tracks of thought a game that combines train mystery and card-based battles you are a ladybug aboard a train when after passing through a tunnel suddenly everyone loses their memory 
explore the train and pick the right cards to help passengers solve problems and the mystery of what happened. What makes this game even more interesting is that your character is shaped by your choices. The decisions you make impact the story and the companions you will meet along your journey. This game is full of adorable creatures and is all about self-discovery and reflection. Tracks of Thoughts is developed by Tidbits Play and is set to be released between April and June this year, coming to PC and Mac via Steam. This next game is a relaxing castle building game, Tiny Glade. In Tiny Glade, you have the ability to craft castles and watch your castles come to life as the game adapts to your building. This game has satisfying sounds, no combat, no management, and cute sheep that waddle through your buildings. And yes, you, you can pet the sheep. With the game that aims to capture the childhood essence of building sand castles on a summer day, Tiny Glade promises to have a perfect, cozy, relaxing atmosphere. This game is developed by Pounce Light with sound and music by Knock Knock Audio and is set to be released this summer coming to PC. Windows and Linux. Number eight on my list is, I believe, actually a popular game that hasn't even come out yet. I've seen so many people play the demo of this already. It's Kamaru A Frog Refuge. Countless cozy gamers have played the demo for this game already, and you should too if you like farming sims and, of course, frogs. In Kamaru A Frog Refuge, you help a friend restore wetlands, turning it into a haven for hundreds of different types of frogs. Collect these frogs, raise them, and rebuild wetlands through mini games and decorating. Kamaru Frog Refuge is developed by Humble Reads and is set to be released this year on PC, Mac, and Linux, with a demo available to play right now on Steam. The next game on my list is Sunnyside. Sunnyside is a farming game that may just spark your interest this year. I know many of us are tired of farming games, but this one. I think it's a little different. In this game, you move to a small town in the Japanese countryside. And even though it's a small town, there is so much to do. At your homestead, you'll be able to get technology to make growing your crops and taking care of your animals so much easier. This game emphasizes the use of technology to help you farm. And I think that's pretty cool. You can also use your crops to craft food that you can sell to local businesses or set up a stand at the farmer's market. Not only is there your homestead, but almost 30 characters you can get to know, explore their stories, and maybe even find romance. Another thing that makes this game full of things to do is the exploration aspect to Sunnyside, where you explore and battle in the caves under the town. On their page, this part hasn't been expanded on as much, so I don't really know what was the story behind us in the caves under the town. But if you want to be a cave dweller and battle underneath the town, add Sunnyside to your list. <laughs> Besides that fact, if you want to get a taste of the game right now, there is a demo available to play on Steam. Sunnyside is developed by Rainy Games, and if I'm being honest, it looks like a game I can get lost in. I can spend a lot of hours on that game. <laughs> it's looking like it's gonna be one of those games. I'm super excited to see where they take it. Sunnyside is set to come out sometime this year. The last but not least game on this list is an adorable puzzle game called Mizzy No. This game reminds me a lot of A Little to the Left being yet another puzzle game with a mischievous cat. However, there is a difference. In Mizzy No, you are putting together broken objects. With adorable illustrations, simple gameplay mechanics, and relaxing music, Mizzy No is a puzzle game to look forward to this year. Mizzy No is developed by Do and I and is set to be released this year on PC. The first five puzzles are available to play right now via their demo on Steam. And that is the last game on the list. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you haven't already and... Oh, hey there. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. How are you? Firstly, I wanna say thank you so much for helping me to reach 300 subscribers. Hi, hey, hello, thank you.
<laughs> thank you so much for all of your support and all of your kindness and all of your love i appreciate it so much i just want to say that things have been keeping me busy i was traveling for a bit and then when i got back um my mental health was keeping me busy <laughs> just that and a lot of other things but i'm finding a schedule again that works for me and i want to really stick to this schedule to the best of my abilities and i want to be putting out more content and creating more things i have a lot of exciting things planned um and i just want to say thank you thank you for being here thank you for all your support and yeah <laughs> i love you all so so much and i'll see you in the next video bye If you haven't told a woman <laughs> If you haven't told a woman in your life that you love them today, what are you doing? What are you doing?